I got that good life. I knew everything was gonna be all right till the wind may blow when the hate feels low. Keep moving on and let go. Add color into your soul. Now life's like a movie camera pose. One time for the girl, Shannon Rose. Hey you guys, it's Shannon Rose, and in today's video, fuck, I totally forgot what I was gonna film just now. Oh! Anyway, I'm drinking Gatorade, and I feel like I'm drinking poison. That's my, how my husband makes me feel. He's like, I can't believe you're drinking that food coloring. <laughs> it causes cancer and all these things, and I'm like, oh my god, seriously, like, I... I feel like a saint when it comes to like what I eat and drink and if I want to have a Gatorade every now and then I'm gonna do it oh, sorry Trav get over it I'm gonna be drinking Gatorade there's like some moms that like drink and smoke and do all kinds of things and like I get in trouble for drinking Gatorade <laughs> first world problems what was this video even about oh I remember I am going to be filming a story time about how I fought another porn star. I've had like actual fights with porn girls and I think I've actually did a story time about it once and if I haven't, let me know because I will be happy to. I know I talk about it in my second book, but this was actually a planned fight and it was called Porn Star Punch Out and it is from the same creator that did Felony Fights, also created Porn star punch out and I'm pretty sure there was only like one video that he did so how he started like felony fights I don't know if you guys have ever heard this before but it's basically like a bunch of felons and this guy Michael Lynch basically would pay them to fight each other on camera and it's like really crazy totally in most people's opinion like really fucked up but it's pure entertainment and people like watching that unfortunately and so it did really well and he did like multiple uh versions or like felony fights one felony fights two and then he had the idea to do it with porn stars except for it was a little bit more fight friendly because we wore boxing gloves instead of like bare fisting punching also i don't know where he would have found porn stars that would have just like been like oh yeah like i'll get all fucked up when we made money off the way that we looked, you know? So somehow I agreed to do this. I don't know why, because for one, like who wants to actually fight like another person? <laughs> I don't even think we we're getting paid that much for this. I think because like his girlfriend or wife, I think it was, was I was friends with. And so I agreed to do it. And he also got a bunch of other porn girls to do this. I think I had hosted like one of his events or something. I can't really remember. It's, it was a long time ago, but I do know that I was really actually nervous for this. Cause I was like, damn dude, am I about to get my ass kicked? Like, and everyone's going to see it. Like, this is just going to be so embarrassing. I did what like I would do in any <laughs> like life or death situation. It was hosted by Ron Jeremy and there was like a lot of people. They had like a full octagon ring, but I'm sure if you type in porn star punch out, you'll find it. In fact, I think I might even have the DVD somewhere. And if I do, I'm gonna, I'll try to find a platform to post it up on for people that are 18 and over to watch. We basically fought each other topless in like a full boxing ring thing, just like you would see like in Vegas, like where people actually fight. It was like totally legit the way they set it up. I was like really nervous for it because I didn't want to get my ass kicked, but they paired us up with people that were like kind of our same size. And they actually put me in with someone that I didn't know. And so I think they did that on purpose because it makes you like not really care if you hurt the other person because you don't really know them or have any sort of relationship with them. Once it was my turn, I went in and if you know me, you know I have like terrible, terrible anxiety and like panic attacks. I've had it since I was 17. It's something like I've always kind of suffered with. At the time, didn't know like what to expect or what it was gonna be like. I thought that like it was just gonna be you know, like sexy fighting. Cause like, you know, we're porn stars and like topless. I thought people were like, maybe gonna jerk off to this. I don't know. I really didn't know what to expect. This had never been done before. And so like all of us were kind of clueless to it. And I think they weren't really sure how it was gonna go either. And so I got into that ring and you guys, I went balls deep, freaking swinging, like trying to take her down. It was supposed to be like a boxing thing, right? I was like trying to take this bitch down on the ground. Like I was like, uh-uh, I'm gonna win. <laughs> I am not gonna get my ass beat today. And I was like pounding her. As soon as I did that, I started to have a full blown panic attack like in the middle of doing this. I was like, 
I, I have to stop, I have to stop. And they were like, okay, it's fine. Like go sit in the corner. They gave me like water and the chick giving me water was like, don't drink too much water. You're gonna throw up. And I was like so thirsty and like parched and like having a, a panic attack and hyperventilating <laughs> that I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. And I like finally like, almost like passed out to the point where they're like, okay, she needs to go, like she can't keep filming. And I just remember like for one feeling really shitty because like, I didn't know if I hurt the girl and I felt bad about that, but I also like didn't want to get my ass beat. And so, <laughs> so like I wanted to beat her up first before she could beat me up. And it was just like such a fucked up situation, the whole thing. I don't, I still to this day don't know why I agreed to do it. Anyways, I, I had a full blown panic attack. It was fucking awful. And I ended up, someone gave me like a Xanax and I took the Xanax on the way home and I was just like, take me home. Like I, I don't feel good. And I just remember like driving home and feeling so sick to my stomach because for one, like when your adrenaline is going and you watch like um, fighters, like if you watch fighters or boxers, you, you see them like drink some water and then they spit it out. I think it's because when your adrenaline is going like that, it can make you sick if you drink too much water. And the chick was telling me like, don't drink too much water, like spit it out. And I was like, no, like I'm fucking thirsty. I'm gonna drink the water. <laughs> Why am I gonna waste water? I'm not spitting this shit out. I drank all that water and then I took a Xanax on top of like being in that adrenaline rush. And you guys, I remember being on the freeway. I wasn't driving by the way. Someone obviously was driving me home, but I remember being on the freeway and being like, I'm, I think I'm gonna be sick. I forget who I was with, but they're like, you're fine, you're fine. You're just having a panic attack. And I was like, nope, I'm gonna be sick. I rolled the window down and when you're driving fast on the freeway and you put your head out the window and you start vomiting, it literally goes all over the side of your car. <laughs> Just an FYI, a little PSA for you in case you've never done that before. I have to say like, <laughs> wasn't the first time I did that. When I got home, I remember like I passed out cause I was so tired from like having such a bad panic attack. It took everything out of me and just the whole day like, I was just so exhausted from everything that I like passed out and I remember waking up the next day feeling hungover like I had been drinking, which I hadn't. And then I remember like going out to my car to like go somewhere and just literally seeing like dried vomit all over the passenger side of the outside of the car. It was fucking gross. And I was like, oh, and I had to like go and take my car to the car wash and I just like felt such like shit. And I was like, damn dude, that was not worth it not fucking worth it. I don't know why, like I said, I don't know why I agreed to do that. Like I, sometimes you make stupid ass decisions in life and I have to tell you, I've made a lot of them. <laughs> don't be like me. You know those memes that are like, so-and-so does this, don't be like this person. That's like me, that literally should be me at all times. Anyway, just thought I would share that fun little story time about how I decided to partake in something called Porn Star Punch Out and I really fucking regret doing it and I wouldn't um, recommend it to anybody. I don't think they have it anymore, but um, yeah, it was crazy. Also, felony fights, like they were like DVDs from back in the day are like also crazy. I don't know if they have it um, online. You probably can't find it on YouTube because that show would get taken down so quick because it's like super, super bloody. And like, um, you know how like my fetish videos like are like uh, fake, you know, fake stuff. This felony fight stuff was not fake. Like they were for real beating each other up and it was like super savage and like really crazy. And I think a lot of them were felons, like in and out of jail and stuff. And uh, that's why they called it felony fights. Super crazy. Fun fact, actually, this tattoo right here that says, I rather be hated for who I am than love for who I'm not. The person that did felony fights like and created it and everything and also porn star punch out, he also had a tattoo shop and that's where I got this done at. Um, those guys are some crazy motherfuckers. I would not fuck with them. <laughs> You don't want to get messed up. Actually, they're sober now. Last I remember is like he got sober and like changed his life around and like owns a bunch of sober houses now. So good for him. Um, people do change. There is hope in this world. <laughs> There's hope for me. There's hope for anyone. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on. Also, if you'd like to support this channel because most of my videos get demonetized, you can by hitting the thumbs up button. We have merch down below and also my books. So. I am sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in the next video.